We'll now focus on our course homepage. The homepage is where the students land when they enter into the course. To do that, click on where it says home from your Canvas course menu, and then click choose homepage. And there are several options available here. We're gonna go with syllabus. And now when students come to the course, they'll land on the syllabus page. So let's go ahead and edit that syllabus page. And we'll make it a little bit more interesting by adding an image. So to do that, I'm gonna go into Google search and type in psychology perception uh, images tools usage rights I want something that is labeled for reuse so that it's available for anyone to reuse and I'm going to go ahead with this image here and I'll right click on it and choose copy image address and I'll come back into canvas click on embed image and I'll paste the URL here and for the alt text uh, I have here shows an image of a person looking into the sun for dimensions I'm gonna make it smaller to start off with and I can further resize it I'll say update so here we go and let's say uh, psych 101 general psychology and we'll make this let's see a header two so it's bigger and then I'll go ahead and click off screen and bring in some additional text maybe just have it say general psych Okay, so I have the instructor's name, Dr. Robert G. Kelly, and then I have view our course syllabus. And right now that doesn't let us yet view the course syllabus, so let's make that possible. So here's our course syllabus, good. I'm gonna make sure I'm logged in my Gmail account for Prof. R. Kelly, which I am. And remember that once that is done, See, you can close this and close this. I'm going to open up a new tab. And since I'm logged in, Gmail is Prof. R. Kelly, I can go to this 3x3 three three grid, Google Apps, click on Drive. And I have my general psychology folder, which I'll go into. And now I'm going to take my Psych 101 syllabus. I'm going to copy it over here. Let's drag and drop. And now it's in my drive. This is in Microsoft Word format. And once it's in Google Drive, I can't directly edit it unless it's a Google Doc. So to correct that, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then choose the option Open with Google Docs. And Google's done a great job of converting it from Microsoft Word to Google Doc. And I can now directly edit it. Okay, hold on a moment. I'm going to save this first as a Google Doc before I try to edit it. There we go. Now let's see if it plays better. There we go. So now I can directly edit it. And I can get a link to it. And the link could allow other people to edit it or comment on it, but I only want them to be able to view it. So I'll copy that link. Head back on over. Highlight viewer course syllabus. Do control K or it might be command K on your computer and then paste it and for target new window so if they click on the syllabus it'll open a new tab there we go now I also have ask a question that's going to open up a discussion board where students can post questions that they have to do that though I need to add that discussion board in module so come on over here into modules and I'm going to create a new module 
and it's going to be called uh, resources or class resources. I'll drag it to the top. Let's see, I'm going to make it visible. I want to just drag this to the top, but instead I'm going to click on the dot 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 and choose move module and I'm going to place it at the top. There we go. And then I'm going to add to it the discussion. Ask a question. Now, the benefit of adding the discussion, ask a question to modules is that the link that I get from the module view, that link will survive when I copy a course from one semester to the next. The link will not get broken in that copy process. I found that the links I get from the module view are very reliable. And so that's why I often will go ahead and do that. So I'm going to copy a link address there. Then I'm going to head back on over to syllabus. Click edit. Click on ask a question, highlight it. Again, control K or command K. Paste it, the link. Um, share a new window. And OK. Now the student help desk. For that, I'm going to click on where it says uh, tech help. And here's student help desk. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy that link address. And I'm going to come back over here and highlight student help desk. Again, control K. Paste the link. Target new window. OK. And now uh, student support services, academic and well being. That is right here where you click student support. And I'm going to go ahead and just highlight that URL and copy it. Bring it into my course over here. Highlight what I've got. Control K or Command K. Paste it. Target new window. And we're good. OK. So obviously there's a lot more that we could do with this as a home page, but it's got the basic information. It has a little bit of uh, eye candy. It has the title. It's got the instructor's name, the link to the course syllabus, which if I click on it, brings up the course syllabus. As the instructor, I can edit that at any time. Uh, there's also the ask a question discussion. So students can click on that and then they can go ahead and type in any question that they have and I'll be notified immediately of that question via my email inbox to which I can respond within my email inbox uh, and then it'll appear as a response to the student here in the discussion board so that's really nicely integrated. We've got the student help desk where students can go if they have questions with Canvas and we also have the student support uh, services, academic, as well as uh, students' well-being uh, as well. And then below it, we have uh, our course summary with the, the due dates. So that gives you an idea of how you can set up a, a home page that has some basic information on it to help orient the student.